Hey everyone, Chris here. Thanks for joining. Uh, I had a few videos about this blue Honda CRV in the background. It's a 2000, uh, and I'm so happy that I'm able to keep that run. And it does require some duct tape and uh, bubble gum every now and then. Uh, but I have this uh, a, a nicer ride, and I wanted to share a little bit of a review uh, for this 2015 Kawasaki Vulcan S. And so I'm not a I'm not a huge motorcycle guy or an expert by any stretch. Uh, but I've, I've been riding for years, um, mostly in my 20s, and then there was a long stretch where I didn't ride at all. And then I jumped back into it a couple of years ago and, and was lucky enough to get on, get, get this. The bike came uh, and kind of, it was a, as a gift under some weird circumstances. And I'll talk a little bit about that, but I'm also going to talk about some upgrades we did, uh, the performance of the bike, and just how it has been overall. It's, been, it's a pretty nice bike. So if you're into bikes and you know, specifically you're looking for kind of a mid range cruiser, uh, the Vulcan S is not a bad choice. So let's look at it a little bit closer. All right, so this is, I'm gonna just do a walk around. This is a, it is kind of custom, right? And, and not necessarily, it wasn't my choice to customize the thing. It came, like I said, it was a gift. And so I didn't see it until it had been bought and my wife bought it and I'm not gonna complain about getting a gift. And she was really trying hard to give me the best gift ever. Um, and it was a nice bike, but the guy who we bought it from he put some weird wear on it. I don't think he ever dropped the bike or the bike was down. Um, but, well, I will tell you, there was, a, there was a, a pretty good sized dent right here. And it was a crease, right? And so it was, I don't know how he did it because nothing else was damaged that would have led me to believe he dropped the bike. But um, I don't know if it fell into something sideways, like leaned up against something hard or when it was shipped up. I think he was a military guy. Um, it was, there was clearly some damage that was done to it. Although I don't think it, I don't think it was in a wreck or anything like that. And there was other weird, weird wear patterns on parts of it where it wasn't, it was scuffed up in very odd spaces. So, yeah, but but no, not a lot of not a lot of real damage besides just the little dent. So I took the, you know, and I I thought, well, I can do this myself. I watch YouTube, so I watched tons of YouTube videos about, uh, uh, you know, uh, doing work on body work on motorcycles. And, uh, and there's a lot of a lot of videos for the Vulcan S, um, so I took a best I took my best <laughs> my best whack at it, and I think uh, it turned out okay. So I will say um, we have red, so you can see some red accents. That's all vinyl, right? So I took those parts off, uh, prepped them up, and then put wrapped them in vinyl. I had a lot of different plans for vinyl, but as it turns out, vinyl is much more difficult to work with than than it appears on YouTube. So I did wrap some parts of it. You can see the headlamp wrapped in vinyl. I wanted to wrap the fenders and the gas tank too, but I found that that was just, it was beyond my skill set. So I ended up, after trying to paint the thing myself, I found that I was not able to get the quality that I was looking for um, on the paint job. So I took it into a, a commercial guy. He, he, I think for, I think we settled on, oh man, I want to say it was between four and 600 bucks for the tank. Uh, the, the front fender and the rear fender, right? So those are the pieces that I brought in. Maybe there was one other additional little piece, but otherwise that was really it. The tank was what I needed. Uh, so we did that, turned out good. Of course, as soon as I got it home, I, I put some, I rested some metal piece on it and put a little scratch there. So I tried to touch that up as best I could and I'm okay with it. This is my bike, so I'm not really looking to sell this thing. I'll probably have it for quite a while. It's got low miles. I think it's got, uh, I'll turn it on here in a moment. We'll look at the mileage. I think it's got about 2,000 or just around there. Um, it came with this, uh, I think it's is it Twin Brothers exhaust, so it's loud, right? So that was, it came came with that. You can see kind of a weird wear pattern right there, where you can see a little, it's like uh, uh, scraping on the paint. But other than that, it, not too bad. I did put uh, red trim on the tires, uh, you know, tricked it out a little bit with some colorful stuff. So I also added a, a gear shift indicator because that does not come stock on this year. I do, I believe it comes on the 2017. I put a USB charger, which I haven't really needed, but I'd like to get a GoPro to get some uh, some riding videos in, and so that might come in handy there. You know, I put some stuff that I bought out online, you know, minor stuff, easily done. Uh, and also I put a, a, I think it was the Power Commander 4 a module in there and then tuned it to the exhaust so then now it's pretty much uh yeah it's about as tricked out as i can make it without doing like engine modifications which i'm not interested in doing as it turns out this bike is plenty fast for me 
and uh, let's turn it on and see see what that looks like or sounds like. So one of the other modifications I made in, in addition to the, the gear shift indicator was to add the smart turn system uh, module so that when I, um, there's two things that it does actually. If I, uh, I have a kind of the, well, the, the automatic turn off turn signal. So if I turn my turn signal on, um, it tells simply by using a little gyroscope in its module that will, will turn it off automatically. Um, and in addition, I put a, a, a unit in there that will, it, it, under, it can tell when I'm engine braking, so rather than applying brakes, I'm downshifting gears to slow the bike down, and it, and it picks that up as a, as a braking maneuver and throws my lights on, right, which is kind of nice. And then I also put the, the flashy thing so that my lights blink, and I, I understand people have mixed feelings about those, but those are some of the additional modifications that were done. Okay, so I'm not gonna. I don't have a. I don't have all the gear to, to do a riding video, but I will uh, take it to the end of the driveway, do a circle back. If I catch if I catch a, my crash on video, that'll, I'll definitely want to post that to YouTube. But uh, give you a little peek of what it looks like. It's actually moving. Kawasaki Vulcan S. Uh, it's 2015, 650 uh, engine. Actually, it's the same engine they put in a Ninja. It's super fast. If I'm being honest, it's it's faster than I needed. I've always I've always dreamed of having a VMAX, and I think this has kind of cured me of, of wanting that because this thing uh, it accelerates very quickly. Um, it gets to the highest speeds that I'm going to want to ride at. Um, it's pretty light. Carries a passenger just fine. I will say it's too loud for me now. So. Yeah, that's one. That is the biggest drawback for this bike right now. Is that I kind of want to get rid of this loud muffler because um, <laughs> I'm getting old and uh, it's not so fun for me. Yeah, I don't enjoy the sound of a loud bike underneath me. But otherwise, it's it, yeah, I, I enjoy the machine. It's uh, it's it's powerful. It's everything I wanted. Um, now I find that I'm just getting old and maybe it's too loud for me. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. If you have some comments, put them down below. Love to hear them. As always, take care and we'll see you next time.